Hi, my name is Marcus. I'm the general manager here at Artichoke. We are a modern Middle Eastern restaurant. We are in the middle of the Brass Mata Arts District. Modern Middle Eastern isn't traditionally Middle Eastern food uh, like what you would find on Arab Street or even on the streets uh, in the Middle East specifically. Uh, we love the flavours, we love the presentation and preparation. Uh, but of course, in Singapore, where we have lots of different influences, we like to have fun with our food as well. It makes a lot of sense for us for you to enjoy your food, and not just in terms of uh, how it tastes, but also how it's presented, and also in the environment that you eat your food in. Dishes that we have in the restaurant that have been with us the whole time, and these are things that, even if we wanted to, I think if we took them off the menu, there might be a riot. Um, I'd say one of them would be the green harissa prawns. This is something that has been with us for a really long time. Uh, in fact, it's one of Bjorn's signatures. He's even made it on uh, a very early episode of season one of MasterChef. The other is, is a dessert, and it's a date pudding. Uh, it's not a sticky date pudding because that's a little bit English. Uh, and our date pudding is, uh, has also gone through evolution. Uh, and the current iteration has something that I find super amazing. It's the combination of that steamed pudding uh, coupled with uh, an espresso jelly that we make in-house. In fact, we make the espresso in-house as well. Um, and a cashew nut crumble that our pastry chef kind of made because she felt I need something that's sweet and yet a little bit bitter, yet a little bit crunchy. Uh, and all these elements come together on a dessert that I would happily eat totally on its own. I don't need the chef. Uh, running a restaurant obviously has many moving parts. Uh, you have the manpower element. Uh, you manage people. You need to make sure that your team is well motivated, uh, they have the right skill set, they know what they're doing, uh, they're acquainted with the equipment. So it can be things like a coffee machine, it can be things like a new stove or a new deep fryer, it can be things like uh, our reservation system, for example. I'm trying to figure out how we can harness the power of technology in, uh, in the way that we want to do things better, in the way we want, we want, we want to improve things. So when you talk about um, how technology can help you as a business, you want to find ways to um, ease the workload on your team. Uh, we don't want to be writing in a book anymore for reservations, for example. That's super archaic and there can only be one book, right? Uh, there can only be one guy checking the book at any one time and that's really outdated and really, really a burden on, on resources. When we talk about tech, you want a platform that lots of people can access at any one time. You can do different things with it, uh, from confirming reservations to contacting your customer to uh, even table management. You want to be able to take a reservation and place them practically immediately. And you can do that with tech. You want a system that can maybe integrate payments. So if you require prepayment, for example, uh, to lock in your reservation, or if you require prepayment for uh, a takeaway order, you want to be able to do all that on a platform if possible. And uh, I think that would be one of those things that I look out for, uh, just to make sure that the workload is lightened on my team. Cashier as a system has evolved as well. I mean, I remember us uh, being involved with them in a very early stage. So we spoke to them when um, all they had was one product, which was uh, a, a tiny little point of sale system, which to me was amazing because uh, in one physical unit, if I could uh, find a way to put my order through and take payments and churn and print out a receipt, I felt that for me as a business, it allowed me to do many things. It allowed me to first integrate many services into one device. It allowed me to be very mobile. And it also gave me a lot of flexibility in how many people can operate one device or many devices if they're all linked at the same time. With all the concerns of running a restaurant, you know, they're so multifaceted. I feel that like Cashier has definitely helped me to uh, streamline our work, streamline our workflows, uh, and has added a lot to the productivity of my team. Thank you.